buddy. What's up, man? Happy Friday. Got the happy shirt vibes. I got the happy fingers for these bitch little fingers. I'm gonna get it. Let's go. Brian is not the only one with bitch fingers today. You gotta, you gotta be prepared, you know? So, at least it's only one. Today, first day, we just wanted to hit a ball and just mess around today. I want to stay consistent with one, one club and try to maintain the same pull and hit it every time. So now, now we're getting serious. We'll see how it goes. All right, y'all. Day two. Here we are again, back to top goal. Day one, we're looking for no hand tears and making contact. Today, we're looking for consistent tempo. Keep that lead arm straight and just getting a nice consistent ball path. Nice and straight. Try to eliminate that fade and that big slice. Nice easy tempo. We can hear that crazy distance or anything. Just dialing it in where we're hitting the same distance, same flight path. Day two, pretty good day, pretty good day. I would say quite a stellar day, John. Massive go. improvement. You're the coach, so you know, you gotta critique. Well, let's talk about it this way. What were our goals going into the day? We talked about tempo, flight path, consistency. Yeah. So we stayed with pitch and wedge all day, no matter how good we were. We started off blocking to the right, inconsistencies, a lot of shanks. 
we worked through those problems about following through, facing your target, right? The end, we were hitting 90% right at that 80, 85 yard mark on the pitching wedge, which we're not worried about. We're worried about consistency and flight path. We have a straight flight path, no draw, no fade. Looking like butter, looking a pro. Tempo nice and, and easy, like a pendulum. Nice little pause at the top, locking in that club head, right? He talks good, don't he? Um, we are looking sweet. Do you hear good. me? Sweet. It felt good. That, we're getting used to the grip. Finally, you know, like something, something that I won't be so uncomfortable with. And I use tape. You need tape. Call it what you want, but you need tape. So we didn't destroy our hands. So it's a good day. Good day. I'm telling you, man. Any of you know Tiger? You tell him I'm coming. Because in three months, it's, it's, it's over. Hey, Tiger. You can't see me. So, for episode one, we mentioned that you came from a baseball background. Yeah. Let's talk about your baseball swing and how it differs from the golf swing and trying to work some of those mechanics. So, it's weird because, like, you, you mentioned that, like, I have to, like, hold on to my swing and pause. So, for me, I guess, like, in my mind, since I'm not used to doing that, and if you don't do it in baseball, like if you don't hit a home run, you have to get out of the box as quickly as possible. And if you hit a home run, you're not supposed to pin, you're not supposed to look at your hit at the home run, or you're gonna get drilled the next at bat. But once I realized that I was doing that, or like what I had to do, it's like game changer. Because like, then we, we saw the difference of like how we started off the day not so well, and then how I ended. Pretty, pretty consistent to the, like anywhere from 50 to 90 yard range. It being top off, like I do want to just get on the driver and just rip it or like try to, but you know, we have a goal in mind. So like today, just, just the pitching wedge, stay consistent. And it was fun. Yeah. Hold your finish. Pose. Him, yo swing. Yep. Pose. Like you're on the catwalk. Or as John is to say, him, yo swing. Smash that like button.